there was a time actually when African literature was quite popular, when the Achebes and the like were, were dominant and that wave kind of fizzled out and Adichie helped resuscitate it and maybe that helped pave the way for a lot of the developments we're seeing now. So I'm curious to know, do you think this wave will last? Does it have the sense of being fleeting? Uh, is it just too early to predict whether or not the interest that's now been generated is going to be enduring in some way? Uh, and you know, how does how does one even try to to get a sense of of what ensures that the wave is 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 a sustainable one and that this this invigoration is 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 more than than passing? Well, that's a very good question, and it ties in nicely with um, with. Baxi's suggestion that, you know, maybe these awards happening at this particular time aren't as magical as we imagine that they are, in the sense that there's been a preparation, right? That they just happen to happen at the same time doesn't mean that it's not been a long time coming, right? And that sort of helps us to think about what the systemic reasons are for the fact that we are winning these prizes. It's not as if, you know, the publishing um, industry finally found us and is knighting African literature is that no, a ton of work has been put into creating spaces of global visibility for African literature. Because once we can think about it as an infrastructural and systemic shift, then maybe we can begin to talk about what does it take to actually sustain this system so that we can continue to be um, productive in a way that is replicable and sustainable over time? And I think that that's possible um, in the sense that, um, that the interest that we are seeing is symptomatic of kind of, you know, um, broader developments in the African literary scene are centered both in the diaspora and on the continent. Um, and um, this is, is kind of a distinction that comes up at times when people feel as if African literature as imagined or seen from the diaspora is different from what's happening on the continent. And it's an interesting conversation to have. It's, it's a helpful distinction to make, but is one that sometimes I like to kind of bracket and suspend just because on the continent as well, interesting things are happening, right? And the digital space is allowing us to sort of exist in a much more broader eco um, um, system. So that I think that it's possible to imagine that there are things happening infrastructurally that is kind of pushing these interests that we are seeing, that um, publishers are publishing differently um, the publishing industry on the continent um, looks looks different, seems to be thriving compared to what it was before, um, and that interesting global partnerships are happening at the level of the market. And that so as long as we continue to, to build and feed into these systems, this is, is um, um, this kind of success, you know, is something that could possibly last. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to build a bit on that, Will? Or? Please, absolutely. Go uh, ahead. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree with um, Ainehi, of course, that something uh, is building and that's a sort of a longer history of the early 20th century and digital cultures that lead us to this moment uh, when suddenly African literature becomes uh, more viable to Western publishing circuits, right? So the continent has always been producing, there's always been all kinds of uh, uh, activity uh, taking place in, in some countries more than the other, more in South Africa, more in Nigeria, more in Senegal, uh, more in Kenya, uh, less so in some other places, right? Um, but things have been happening. And I think, um, you know, what happens when we then want to analyze uh, publishing circuits within the African continent, we end up at two very oppositional realities. On the one hand, uh, there is a poverty around, um, uh, you know, publishing initiatives, uh, capacity to engage wide readerships. On the one hand, there is tons of things going on 
whether you say it's because the continent is hyper-connected, people do a lot of reading on the phone, um, things like that. So it's like both can both coexist. What unfortunately uh, I would say remains a flat out reality is that whatever whether we like it or not how much ever we want to resist it and find it annoying um african literary circuits still continue to be tied with western publishing circuits and this 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 becomes a big issue um you know and this is great when it's when you're thinking about the infusion of diaspora uh, writing and then the way in which it travels back to the diaspora in various places um but uh, the the issue with that is and i say this many times to me publishing is the last bastion of a kind of white colonial uh, monolith and uh, more than television more than hollywood uh, this is the hardest one to actually reframe and rework it's still there's still very little diversity uh, in western publishing in terms of leaders uh, in the in the big uh, publishing uh, houses in in terms of editors um and you know i have a lot of um friends who are writers who are uh, you know they would consider themselves people of color south asian or of african origin or heritage who experience on a daily basis a kind of pain at being asked to do the kind of edits uh, to make their work less foreign more viable to a certain western audience uh, having a lot of uh, difficulty securing agents getting agents to read uh, and then if you do get published having a lot of um, uh, it's a big struggle to get the books reviewed because no book uh survives without without review so the agent editor reviewer nexus uh is very intense in in western publishing and it's very hard to break those circuits i think it's it changes and digital culture manages to move things prizes manages to move things um and we are going to get some great book deals and interesting titles coming out of this prize heist that has taken place and it's wonderful uh but i think uh structurally we are still in a very difficult place